Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, a lot of us seem to have digital cameras these days. I happen to like Canon digital cameras. I've got three of them, and I probably should sell a couple of them just to make room for other Canon digital cameras that I buy. But there are certain things that have frustrated me about Canon's cameras, and it's less about the hardware and more about the software. I, I feel they're uh, limiting the power of their cameras somewhat by crippling the software for whatever reason, likely to uh, push people to Canon's higher-end cameras. Well, anyway, politics aside, got an email from WAPO who took me up on the offer uh, of sending something cool. And uh, you, if you have in anything interesting you might want to send me, my email address is chris at perillo.com. WAPO, he nailed it. Check this out. He writes, I bought a Canon PowerShot S3 a few months ago. I'm really happy with the camera, but it's missing some things that I think it should have. A battery indicator, raw image support, maybe some games. Games? Just yesterday, I found out about CHDK, an open source project with many authors working independently or in loose cooperation to add additional functionality to digital cameras. There are lots of scripts and builds, and the best part is, is that this hack, or the new firmware, the hack, the software, the firmware, stays on your memory card so you won't have to wreck your camera. What he's telling me is that this program, this edition, will stay on this, not on this. I don't know how the heck they pulled it off, but listen to the list of features they've already added to this open source software that will run right now on a limited set of Canon digital cameras. Shooting in RAW, which a lot of people want, especially if you're a professional photographer. The RAW mode allows you to take a shot not apply any compression to it, and better tweak the color, the saturation, etc. in your digital image editor rather than taking a JPEG uh, formatted image and tweaking it because it's already been compressed and just doesn't work the same way as, as raw image mode does. A live histogram, RGB blended luminance, and for each RGB channel, which again might only interest you if you are someone who's really into photography. A zebra mode. Now this is nice. This is something that's not just for professional photographers. Have you ever taken a picture only to realize, wow, that white was really white and it kind of blew out the rest of the image? Zebra mode shows you overexposed areas of your photo so that you can adjust accordingly. It's a very cool feature. A DOF indicate, a calculator. That's a depth of field calculator. A battery indicator. Oh, finally. Scripts execution, file browser, text reader, calendar, and some fun tools and games. So, wow! <laughs> now this is only available for a limited set of Canon digital cameras. I think m one of mine is supported, the SD700. I happen to have that one I carry around with me in the car as well. Oh, I guess the S2IS as well. Really cool! Who would have thought that they would create this for digital cameras? I mean, you think you buy this hardware and there it is. And, you know, they may update the firmware at some point, but when was the last time you updated the firmware on your digital camera? I mean, really. This... That's almost like the future of digital cameras. And you imagine if you bought the camera, the hardware, and the software, the operating system, the firmware, everything was open sourced so that developers like this could add features and functionality to the same hardware. And then more importantly, you're, if, if you don't want to run the, the, the tweaks anymore, you just either erase it from the card or remove the card and put it in a different one. That's how CHDK apparently works. Wow, I love open source. I just wish that more hardware manufacturers would understand why it's a, an important thing for people. These features have long been missing from consumer grade digital cameras and I can't wait to try them. Uh, this is a fantastic find WAPO. I really appreciate this. The website where you can find more about CHDK is chdk.wikia.com. That's W-I-K-I-A.com. And uh, if you know of any other cool anything, software, hardware, ideas, tips, tricks, whatever, send them along. I never would have known about this had it not been for you. You out there. Well, specifically WAPO, but you too. Again, my email address is chris at perillo.com. Let me know if you know of anything interesting, cool for the rest of us so I can share it. 
That's the beauty of the internet, sharing information, sharing mind power. And of course, you're also welcome to embed this video, spread the word about CHDK, give all those open source developers a huge pat on the back for doing this. Very cool. And if you're a developer, maybe you can throw in your two cents and help improve the software for the hardware. What do you think about that? You're also welcome to swing by our chat room where we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day. And we talk about hardware, software, the internet, tips, tricks, you name it. Trust me, it's going to get discussed. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.